Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Here's a quick update for those who like to work with USD files or probably you want to start working with this. Now, some time ago, we did talk about the fact that USD is going to be the future. Actually, that is the future of file interchange as this is the only file format that allows you to collaborate with artists from different parts of the world on different devices on a single project. Developed in-house by the folks at Pixar and finally open source sometime in 2016, the OpenUSD has now become a key part of both VFX animation and game development. And speaking about game development, we've seen a lot of things come from the folks at Activision. Some time ago, they did make the USD shell extension, which sort of gave us an idea that something was happening with them and they were working with this tool. But for most people, setting up this was a nightmare and it wasn't something that I would have recommended that you do. Although there were several ways of viewing your USD as Nvidia Omniverse did give us the USD viewer and also the Omniverse Create, which allowed artists to collaborate and work with USD. But one of the major problems with that is you needed an RTX card to actually get Omniverse running. Although lots of creators did rely on DCC apps like Blender, Maya to open up USD files, but setting USD files are pretty dense that you might be needing a viewer to actually preview what you're looking at. And that brings us to something that is pretty exciting. As the Higher Technical Commission for Sound and Images under the French movie industry trade body has just released 3D Info. And the idea behind this tool is for non-technical artists to take advantage of this and preview USD scenes. So we've already announced that there were several USD datasets that you can get. Some of the most popular ones are from Walt Disney. And of course, one of the heaviest one that you can ever think of checking out is the Moana data scene, which comes with a lot of things. So the base alone is about 93 gig of data once you unpack it. And the animation deals with 131 gig of data. And you've also got 17 gig of data for USD. The PBRT comes with like 41 gig of data. And the PBRT version 4 has about 30 gig of data, which is a whole lot. However, if you're looking for USD scenes that you can preview, then there is actually some from the folks at Animalogic, which is currently open source and available for you to work with. And of course, recently, the folks at Activision have just released the Call of Duty Warzone map called caldera so this is currently available for anyone to pick up and understudy as this brings the realization that usd is here to stay and it has actually been used in a lot of other things outside animation and the caldera dataset from activision is a huge map like it's, it comes with a lot of things and you know you need to come through and explore it for yourself for you to be able to see it i do get the idea that you might want to open this in blender or maya but it will take forever to actually do that and it might probably take a lot for you to get that running and the only place i would suggest that you open this up is your usd view which on the other hand if you do not have an rtx card you probably will not be able to open this up for us to actually preview this and also see what the 3d info looks like we need to simply go over to their GitLab. Right here on their GitLab, you would notice that this needs you to compile it and we are not up for that. So what we're going to do is to go over to the deploy section and go over to the release section. And from here, we should be able to see some builds that are ready for deployment. And currently this is available for Linux and also for Windows. And of course, if you download this and fire it up, this is basically what you get. So already this comes with a predefined scene. So you can use this to preview what you've got. And navigation for this is like very simple. It's your three mouse button navigation, middle mouse button to pan, right mouse button to look left and right. And of course the same thing can be said for your left mouse button. You've got a couple of things right here and you can simply inspect your entire world and see what you've got with them. So for example, if I like to go over to the chair, we can simply go over to the props and we can go through and find that chair. And once we have that, if we tap F on the keyboard, we can preview it. So like I mentioned, this tool is best for those who would just want to preview USD files before they bring it into their DCC app of choice. And you know, launching your DCC app before you get to even preview the file might be a nightmare. This one just opens really quick and you can simply use it to do all of that exploration. And if you like to see the file from the folks at Activision, we've simply gone ahead and downloaded it. So if you like to download this yourself, you can go over to the Activision GitHub, go right to where you find Caldera and you can simply open that up. And from here, you can download it and these downloads as a USDA. So we've also covered a video where we sort of explain the whole concept of USDA and, you know, the USDZ and all of that stuff. So just in case you'd like to find more details about it, you can go over to the channel and check that out. So right here, we're simply going to open up that USDA. And from here, this is going to quickly open up the scene. And what we've got here is a huge map. Like, forget the fact that this runs quickly on this tool. This is quite huge. So you can go through several layers and of course, this does have a lot of layers. So in case you like to see them, they've got the 
players, we've got the camera, we've got the world, and these are all of it. I believe the players is a section where the players get spawned from, so I guess all of these tiny dots are where players get spawned from. And you've got the cameras, and with these cameras, you can simply dive into where the camera is at any point. And, uh, you know, once you tap F on the keyboard, it jumps right in, and we can jump all the way out, and we can go over to another location, jump all the way out, and this way you can quickly take a peek at some of these things. So at this point, you can simply preview this and see what you've got going. And if you probably are wondering about uh, textures and stuff, this doesn't seem to come in with the textures as this is all we've got with the file. Like this entire USD file is for academic study. So you can simply go ahead, pick it up and study how this map gets built. If you've played Call of Duty, you probably appreciate this even more and you can go through and see some interesting places for yourself. The 3D Info tool seems to be having some interesting update that will be coming to it moving forward. So if you like to read up on some of the activities that will be happening to this tool, then there is a link to their Trello page where you can see what has been released, what is currently set up for this quarter and also upcoming updates as well. Animation playback seems to have been set up for this upcoming quarter and this will be really good. So this means that if you do have an animated scene, you should be able to get your animation running. But be that as it may, this is currently what we have here. So just in case you like to preview USD datasets, you can now simply use this. Another interesting update is Vulkan support have been added to OpenUSD and Pixar's Hydra Storm Renderer. Currently, this seems to be working on Linux, with plans of updates coming to Mac and also Windows. Of course, if you'd like to read more about this and also join the conversation, then you might want to come through and see it, as this work has been a collaborative effort between the Alliance of OpenUSD members which includes Pixar, Autodesk, and Adobe, aiming to bring the HDI Vulkan to feature parity with the existing OpenGL and Metal backend with USD Hydra. And of course, if you're looking for more USD files that you can work with, then we've already mentioned Riley B3D before, and he's got a ton of these that you can simply chug into Blender and start creating with. All of these, as well as the other ones that we've mentioned, are totally free, so you can go through, pick these up, and start working with them. And of course, Riley also has made a couple of nice stuff, despite the fact that he's got this ton of USD stuff that you can work with. You can also pick up some interesting textures and also materials and start creating with. So this is it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Links to this is going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.